All right, in this video, we're going to set up a config view, uh, which is a view that will uh, link uh, different uh, schematic elements to various models that might exist. So here I have a schematic of a four element passive mixer. And it's a relatively ideal uh, schematic. We just have a port, some resistances, some clock sources, an AHDL uh, described switch, and a filter that is comprised of an ideal BCVS uh, and a resistor and a capacitor. Now, when we go to set up the config view, we can go to File, New, Cell View. And just like when we create a schematic, we're going to instead create a view called config. And this is going to open up the hierarchy editor uh, for this. We want the top cell view generally to be a schematic. And then we need to set it so that it can use whatever libraries we might be using. This might be analog lib, basic, any design libraries you might want to use, and any other reference libraries that you might be using. Now, here we need to set up a view list, and this is going to be a list of cells that we might expect to encounter that might describe the circuit. These are things like net lists or schematic views, or we might have extracted views like a caliber view. And this sets up the order of preference for the view uh, if it's found. So for instance, the config view will first look for a spectra view, CMOS underscore SCH, CMOS.SCH, caliber, schematic, barrel IA, and it will use the first one in this list that it finds. Let's set our stop list, and we should be able to click OK, and our config view should be created. Now, this allows us some precision, for instance, if we want to use a different model if we happen to have one. Now, this circuit is fairly ideal, so we uh, actually uh, don't have uh, too many choices on what to use. We're just going to be using the spectra views for all the analog lib components, the schematic view for the actual schematic, and then I have an AHDL or a Verilog A uh, design uh, for this uh, NMOS uh, ideal switch. If we wanted to change the, the view, we can always go to view to use, right click, set cell view, and if there are other views available, we can force it to use a particular one, or we can change the view list uh, if we wanted to use a different view. All right, we're going to save the config view, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the config view uh, to set up a simulation rather than using a traditional schematic to set up a simulation. And what that will do is allow you to use the convict view to, to effectively configure your net list so that you can choose which models and which schematics and which views you're using in your simulations with precision rather than just relying on a bulk setting uh, of, uh, of a switched view list, which is the default in uh, ADE Explorer. We'll do that next time.